In this video, we will learn how to create customer impressions with proper technique. On a clean, flat surface, tape down the work mat. An unsecured work mat will make it difficult to use impression material later on. Open the impression container and pre-mix the unactivated material. Settling can occur during shipping and may affect the curing process. Apply a thin layer of Vaseline to the customer. This thin layer is important as the Vaseline acts as a mold release after the impression material is cured. Do not leave clumps of Vaseline or a thick layer as this will destroy details in the mold. Paper towels may be used to remove excess Vaseline. Customers may also shave excess hair if desired. Position the customer's hand in a desirable pose. Do not allow the customer to keep the fingers tense or close together. The fingers should be in a relaxed, natural position with slight spacing in between each finger. Add one bottle of Catalyst to one container of impression material and stir thoroughly. An uneven mix can result in uncured material. The work time is approximately 3 to 5 minutes. In warmer temperatures, this time will be reduced. Impression material should be refrigerated to increase work time. Apply the activated impression material generously to the customer's hand. This should be done quickly and thoroughly. Again, do not allow the patient to strain the fingers or other unnatural positions. Make sure the impression material covers the hand up to the thumb webbing. A common error is to leave the impression too short. Excess material can be scooped off of the work mat and applied to the hand to fill in any holes or gaps that may appear. Try not to let any holes or thin spots appear. Note the strained fingers, holes, and poor coverage in the bad impression on the left, as compared to the natural pose and good coverage of the impression on the right. With the customer in a relaxed standing position, wait approximately 3 to 5 minutes for the impression to cure completely. Pressure may be applied to the wrist to relax the customer's hand and fingers. When excess material on the work mat is cured, the impression is ready to be removed from the customer. If the material is tacky to the touch, wait a few more minutes. Never use scissors or sharp objects to remove the impression. Instruct the customer to wriggle his or her fingers to break the seal of the mold. Remove the impression at a slow pace to avoid ripping out any surface hairs around the wrist. When the customer feels ready, with the impression loose around the fingers, firmly grab the impression and slowly pull it off of the customer. Following these steps should result in a full impression with proper pose and appropriate coverage, and no thin spots or holes. Place the impressions in the enclosed shipping bag. Now place the bag with impressions and the container opener in the shipping box and return to Touch Bionics. Thanks for watching this video. Here are some helpful reminders. Do not apply excess Vaseline. Pose the customer's hand in a relaxed position with slight spacing in between the fingers. Do not splay the fingers or strain the hand. Apply the impression material evenly to avoid holes or thin spots. Apply impression material up to the thumb webbing to avoid an impression which is too short. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to receiving your impressions and working with you. If you have any questions, please contact Living Skin.